everybody, DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. This farm some news, baby. This thing farm some news. There we go, I said it right. Today we've got six PC mods and testing. We've got 47 console mods and testing. Well, all those six mods were released today. 82 Studio has a big update to the TLX Phoenix. JHHG Modding shows off more information on the new brand him and Sid Modding are bringing into the game. Kazarius Modding shows you how to use their new Case IH sprayer. Cola Modding is adding a new version of their MB truck. Whiskey Sierra Modding talks about their new Holland Workmaster. Farm Central Souls got some wheels. Yep. <laughs> FS Modding, of course, has more screenshots of their Lizard Thunder. Puma145 talks about the update to their map, Bandicoff. Plus, Lancy Boy's got some new sheds, and he's using Global Company. Look out. Let's check it out. In Testy for PC, we have Agronopolis, Giants Soda Can, John Deere 825, Massey Ferguson 30, Multifruit Silo Pack, and Old Polish Brick Barn. In Testy for consoles, we have a set of fences for your map. Agromass APS40H, Big Bags XXL, Case IH Tiger Mate 255 Field Cultivator, Controllable Weight Attacher Joint, Fame Day Plows, Farm Supply Pack, Victoberg, Gwil TDD Double Bell Transport Spike, Hollenschfeld, John Deere 7 our trike series john deere 9r series 2021 john deere db 120 john deere db 60 john deere w 200 series lenny mountain chalet lieber grinder lieber tl 4367 lizard f350 super duty we're gonna see this one later today lizard pack auatf lizard universal cultivator massey ferguson 3105 phantom massey ferguson 5650 massey ferguson 8600 massey ferguson 5400 pack massey ferguson 7600 mdw 527 not a Massey Ferguson. Medium Hall. New Bartle Shagan. New Holland 8066. New Holland Workmaster. Pitchfork Pack. Polish Liquid Fertilizer Tanks. Polish Potato Box. Quadro Pro Baler Pack. Refurbished Bunker Silo. Riverside Farms. Riverside Shed Pack. S014. Sammy Silver E Lamborghini R5. Scooter. The Plantation. Trans Tank 12048 TC Pack. Tunnel Sheep House. UB. Van Brazil. Rupam and Rugen. And Wayside Cross. With all that being said, we still have 14 mod city waiting to be tested and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is still one work day how do they do it in addition to the mods and testing six new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub including the quad bear 4x4 and the american life barn pack i've already made a video showing these off you can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below making our way into modern news today and of course we start with 82 square studio who has been working on a little surprise for you guys the TLX Phoenix update, version 1.2.5, soon for all platforms. This update is going to include some great new features and an updated look to the mod to more closely represent what you guys have been used to seeing from the Phoenix Wrecker in game. David says that this is recommending to sell the other Phoenix trucks that you have in your game safe and buy the new one instead, as there's tons of updates that have been made and the truck models are completely different now than what they were in the store before. Think of this as an update to a map that requires a new game save. Same deal here, it's just too many updates. Stay tuned to the channel as I'll be showing this off tomorrow. You will not want to miss it. And I also want to thank A2 Studio for sending it over to show it to you guys firsthand. David, you are the man. A few days ago, JHHG Modding and Sid Modding announced that they would be collaborating to bring a new brand into the game, Tchaikovsky. This is a new Polish brand focusing on strip tilling equipment and one of the most advanced technologies in the world. We're going to be getting two new machines from them, the STK300 450 strip till and the PS300S sewing attachment, both of which will be coming to not only Farming Simulator 19, but Farming Simulator 22 as well. Don't worry, there will also be North American versions of each of these to satisfy players from all around the world. JHHD closes today by saying that cooperations like this are important for future creativity. There's nothing like working with a real brand as a modder. Looking forward to seeing what they bring us here. For a closer look, of course, check out JHHG Modding and Sid Modding, link below. Earlier today, Casarius Modding released a new video over on their YouTube channel showing off the upcoming Case H Trident 5550 and how to hook up the sprayer unit. You're gonna need a telehandler, trident tool lifter, and the quick change tool. And then simply attach it, lift, boom, done. It's a really good video. It shows how to do everything step by step. So if that's something you're interested in, check out Casarius Modding on YouTube course link below cola modding shows off another version of their mb truck coming with all platforms the water and milk tank they say this is going to work with not only the six by two but also the four by two trucks as well this mod is still being worked on but it has come a long way over the past few weeks and even past few months 
So we should be seeing more soon. If you want to go see how this truck has progressed from literally nothing to what we see now, well, you know what I'm going to say. Check the link below beside Cola. As you probably see, Whiskey is Sierra Modding's new Holland Workmaster is back in testing. However, he says that the testers are being a little bit picky with things. So for console players to unfortunately not hold their breath at this point, this is very unfortunate and uh, all the information that we've got today but I'll let you guys know if anything changes. I really hope this comes to all platforms. Speaking of New Holland tractors, yesterday we showed off a new New Holland Holland coming with the Farm Central Soul, and today we get to see some optional wheels that are not quite normal, although these types of wheels are becoming more and more popular with every mod that we get. We've got some rice wheels here, care wheels, and a few cage style wheels as well. These are gonna help you gain a little bit extra grip when the field gets rough. Which one of these is your favorite? I still think they look a little Mad Max-ish, but I do understand the usefulness all around the world, and they do look really cool. FS Modding shows off with some more screenshots and testing and progress on the Lizard Thunder RT, AKA what I believe is gonna be renamed the GNU 700. Here you can see the mod working in the fields and even pulling the DB120, which requires 370 horsepower. So you know this tractor is going to offer some serious buff horsies. However, just like the previous post, they didn't say anything, just offered these pictures, which are great, by the way. They do update us almost daily with pictures, but without text or context. Uh, so I'm only going to show these off every few days. That way we don't burn you out. But if you want to see daily progress on this, you know what to do. Check them out. Link below FS Modding. Puma145 has released the official changelog for their update to Bandicoff, which is going to be version 1.1. Fixed spawn placeable models like animals, silos, and bunkers for farm manager, start from scratch, and multiplayer game modes. They also fixed the FPS drops in the fields, fixed the terrain modernization, add, or added a sugar beet to the cell points, added more sounds, added new bunker silos, added collisions in the buildings, added new potatoes and sugar beet silo, increased the capacities of the silos on the map from 100,000 to 1 million, and changed the traffic speed from 30 kilometers to 40 kilometers per hour. He did not say, but this will require a news game save. There's just no other way around it. There's too much that has changed and too many additions, but it will be worth it, I promise. And lastly today, we get a closer look at one of the green barns that Lancey Boy is working on for Farming Simulator 22. You can see here the high level of detail that he's put into it. He's even using Global Company to prepare him for the different features of Farming Simulator 22. He's never used it before. That is really cool. He does finish by saying that he's got loads of new ideas for Farm Sim 22 and even a new American map. So stay tuned. Oh yeah, and he's also got permission to upload his own version of Western Australia 16X for PC players. That edit will feature Maze Plus, Multi-Terrain or MTA, Precision Farming, more height types, Seasons ready, the newer system ready, and he's even added a new train. Additional credits have also been added for Deacon Kane Mapping, who's the original creator, and of course, to Farming Agency and the Alien Ball for their contributions towards Maids Plus and the extensions. If you guys are on PC, this is one map that you really should check out once it's released. I know I'm going to. It's not out yet though, but I'll let you guys know when it is. And I'll let you guys know if I start to run out of self-aware segues to the outro. <laughs> I promise it's going to be soon, but not yet. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. So you might listen this far, let me know. <laughs> Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Later today, I'm going to have a video showing off the new update to the F350. And tomorrow, we should be either releasing a video or streaming showing off the Phoenix update. You don't want to miss it. I'll be said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. If you guys have seen my Instagram from today, I literally brought an entire pot of coffee down here to the studio. It's a crazy day.